The Life and Sad Ending of Charles Rocket Charles Adams Clavery was born on August 28, 1949, in Bangor, Maine, the son of Mary Aurelia and Sumner Abbott Ham Clavery. He attended the Rhode Island School of Design in the late 60s and was part of the Rhode Island underground culture scene in the 1970s that also included Talking Heads frontman David Byrne and film director Gus Van Sant. Rocket appeared sometimes with his friend Dan Gosh as superheroes Captain Packard and his faithful sidekick Lobo. In an RISD yearbook, the duo appeared in a photo at the Rhode Island State House with then Governor Frank Licht. Rocket made several short films and fronted his band, The Fabulous Motels, on accordion. He later anchored the local news channel, Channel 12, WPRI TV, and at KOAA TV in Pueblo, Colorado, under his own name, and WTVF Nashville, under the name Charles Kennedy. He made his network debut on Saturday Night Live in 1980, using the name Charles Rocket. Rocket was cast for the 80-81 season, which followed the departure of the remaining members of the show's original cast and executive producer Lorne Michaels. Singled out by new executive producer Jean Dumanian, he was promoted as a cross between Bill Murray and Chevy Chase. Rocket was tapped to anchor Weekend Update and was featured in more sketches than any other male cast member that season with the exception of Joe Piscopo. Rocket portrayed the recurring character Phil Lively, a game show host who took his larger-than-life persona home and treated life as if it were a game show. He also hosted The Rocket Report, a series of filmed segments where he posed as a roving reporter around New York, which reviewers in later years mentioned as one of the few consistently strong parts of Dumanian's shows. Due partially to the violation of broadcast standards, along with negative press regarding the new cast and declining ratings for both the series and the network in general, NBC placed Dominion with Dick Ebersol after one further episode. Ebersol, who replaced the show on hiatus for a month to retool, dismissed Rocket, along with several of the writers and fellow cast members Gilbert Gottfried and Anne Risley, before the next episode. Rocket recovered from this early career setback and worked steadily in film, with roles in such movies as Hocus Pocus, Earth Girls Are Easy, It's Pat, Steel Big, Steel Little, How I Got Into College, Dances with Wolves, Dumb and Dumber, and often playing comic foils. On television, in addition to guest spots on several 1980s sitcoms, Rocket played Antagonist Network president Ned Grossberg on the cyberpunk series Max Hedrum, Richard Addison, brother to Bruce Willis's David Addison, on the comedy drama Moonlighting, and Adam, an angel of death, on Touched by an Angel. In addition to his acting work, Rocket played accordion on the David Byrne-produced B-52's album Mesopotamia on the track Loveland, and the album Amarcord Nino Rota on the track La Dolce Vita Suite, produced by Saturday Night Live music coordinator Hal Wilner. He also provided the voice of Leo Lionheart Jr. in the MGM sing-alongs videos in 1996. In his personal life, he married his college girlfriend, Beth Krellen, on board the battleship USS Massachusetts, anchored in Fall River, Massachusetts, in 1972. Their son, Zane, was born in 1976. Sadly, Rocket was found dead in a field on his Connecticut property on October 7, 2005, with his throat slit. He was 56 years old. Ten days later, the state medical examiner ruled the death of suicide. He was cremated, and his ashes were scattered.